friends and welcome to my kitchen again. You guys know I'm a big fan of attempting to make video game food in real life. Today's video, however, is going to be a little bit different because today we're going to be making food from a game that has not come out yet. Riot Forge actually reached out to me to make a craft inspired by their new upcoming game, Bandle Tale. I'm really excited to see Riot Forge coming out with a cozy game. And this game just looks particularly adorable. Bandle Tale is coming out in February 21st, but it is out for pre-order now if you want to get it before everybody else. This is one of the games that I am most excited for this year. Without further ado, let's get into what I'm making today. When they asked me to make a craft for them, I immediately knew I wanted to make some kind of dessert and the first thing that came to mind were these really cute mushrooms in their title sequence I was just like this might be the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life um, that being said <laughs> I thought how cute would it be for me to make cupcakes in the shape of mushrooms so the video game food that we're making today is the cute yellow mushrooms from Bandle Tale as a cupcake I hope this turns out good let's get started thing I'm gonna do as always don't forget to preheat your oven <laughs> I am putting my oven at 335 now let's make the cake batter shall we <laughs> you're gonna need 100 grams of butter you'll want this to be soft preferably leave it out for an hour to soften before you use it but I forgot so I just put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds I'm gonna mix this with one cup of sugar Hello. Half a cup of milk. Two eggs. And lastly, I'm gonna mix one and a half cups of flour. You wanna mix it in slowly though. Oh god. Oh god. And it's ready. Now because the mushrooms are this yellow orange tree color, I'm going to add just a little bit of this yellow food coloring. This is what it looks like. I may or may not have made a huge mess over here, but it's okay. Clean as you go. <laughs> I'm gonna use your regular cupcake tray. And I was envisioning that the base of the cupcake would be the base of the mushrooms. So I'm gonna be using this really cute yellow cupcake. Uh, paper? Cup, cupcake paper? Now, this is where things get a little experimental. I was thinking it would be perfect to have like a dome up part of the cupcake so I have these silicone thingy so I was thinking maybe I can use this for the top of the mushroom you picking up what I'm putting down okay use this ice cream scoop to measure the amount of batter that I'm putting in the cupcake so I'm gonna put I think two scoops into this in two scoops into those yeah I'm also going to put the circular ones on a tray just in case. I think that's oven safe. We'll just have to, we'll just have to see. Uh, anyway. Let's see if it's ready. Wow, turned out pretty good. Oh, wow. Look at these. Okay, I'm letting those cool for 30 minutes or so. While that's cooling, I'm gonna get my decorations ready. I'm gonna be using buttercream. This is store-bought and I have put just a little bit of orange coloring in it. I'm also gonna be using fondant to decorate the tops. These are the colors that I'm gonna be using. You can get these at any craft store or baking store. You can get them in the colors that you need or you can also get white and color it yourself if you have food coloring at home. I'm gonna be using this cute yellow color for the base and I'm gonna be using this nice bright orange color for the dots of the mushroom. You're gonna need a big and a small circle cutter. You can use any cookie cutters for this or you can even use a bowl or a bottle cap. Anything you have at hand works for this. And so that the fondant does not stick to whatever surface you're spreading it in, you're gonna to wanna to use a lot of cornstarch. That way it's not gonna stick. Okay, I 
know I said I was gonna wait for them to cold all the way, but I am impatient, so. They're so yellow, I love it. This is how they turned out. Some of them are rounder than others, I will say. So the plan is going to be cupcake, cream, cupcake, cream, and then fondant. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna put a generous amount of buttercream on there. Okay, so far so good. I'm cover that with more buttercream. Ugh, why did I do that? I'm gonna put fondant on top. I might need a little bit of stretching, I feel. <laughs> That's so cute. That's adorable. Like that. In order to stick fondant on more fondant, you just need water. Just a little bit of water. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cute. This is how they turned out. We cannot end one of these videos without doing a little taste test, so let's do it. I almost feel bad eating it. <laughs> oh god, how do, where do I even begin? Okay, let's go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. <laughs> what do you guys think of this recipe? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much, Riot Forge, again, for giving me this opportunity. And thank you guys, because this kinds of opportunities wouldn't happen if it weren't for you. Remember that Bandle Tale is out for pre-order now. So go pre-order the game. It's gonna be so fun. I cannot wait to play it. Always remember, take care of yourself, have some rest, have some water, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.